more people in India lack access to modern means of electricity than any other nation in the world. ADB did a two million equity investment recently in a company called Simpa Networks, uh, based out of India. Now it's a unique investment where Simpa Networks plans to provide sixty thousand households by twenty fifteen you know, by scaling their uh, sales for solar home system. I'm Amit Jain, energy access specialist uh, with ADB. And I have with me Mr. Anirudh Patil, mission leader of this, and Mr. Jeevan Acharya, who is heading the Energy for All program in India. Now, Anit, t- tell us more about this project. How did the project concept came about, and what is the rationale behind this ADB investment in this transaction? Amit, as you mentioned, you know, energy access is a big problem in India. About 400 million people in India do not have access to electricity, and even those who are connected to the grid do not have reliable electricity supply and face continuous power outages. Uh, Access to electricity leads to other problems on health, education and productivity. What we have seen is that uh, access to uh, electricity remains one of the most fundamental problems in India. We were looking at off-grid energy solutions which address this problem and there are a lot of these uh, solutions currently in the market. However, they have problems associated with high upfront costs, high operating costs, and we were on the search for solutions which were sustainable. And it is in this context that we came across Simpa's metering system, which at at the same time as it is easy to use, is also very affordable for the rural consumers. That is what attracted ADB to this investment. Uh, Moreover, by supporting this entrepreneurial venture, ADB hopes that it will attract more venture capital funding to other such business models which provide goods and services to those at the base of the economic pyramid. Mr. Patil, I agree with you that unique uh, Simpa is a unique opportunity which provides kind of a prepayment uh, similar to the mobile technology to the underserved people, but uh, there are several other solar home systems, pay-as-you-go systems in Asia and even in India. So what's so special about Simpa that convinced you to invest in the company and during the due diligence process, looking at its operational history, please tell us the key features which you learned because it will be important for other entrepreneurs to learn from this transaction so that they could approach ADB or other, other investors you know, to, to make their case more credible. Well, Simpa has developed this very innovative pricing model called progressive purchase. Under this progressive purchase pricing model, Uh, Consumers make a small initial down payment, could be as low as 10% and have a solar home system installed on their premises. Once the solar home system is installed, after that they top up their systems in small user-defined increments using their mobile phones. Now each of these payments also adds up towards their final purchase price. Once the system is fully paid, the system unlocks permanently and continues to produce electricity. Thus, what is happening is that because of the progressive purchase uh, pricing, uh, what is effectively done is that a recurring energy expenditure is transformed into an asset purchase. And moreover, it is not pay as you go forever, which is the case in their current alternative of kerosene, but it's pay as you go till you own the system. Now, that was a very unique aspect of the Simpa system. In our due diligence, we also visited some of these systems which are already installed in Karnataka and we found that Simpa is working with well-established players in the solar home system market such as Selco which further ensures that the solar home systems will be installed and maintained for even after installation. Mr. Patel, usually ADB private sector you know, does transactions which are in the range of 50 to 100 million dollars. You know, This is the kind of sweet spot which uh, ADB uh, private sector has found. Now, the other challenges for closing a small deal are the high transition costs and the time incurred by, by ADB operations. Simpa Networks, a 2 million equity investment. I think this will be the one of the smallest deal which ADB would have done in the history. H- how did you close this transaction in spite of these challenges? I- I'm sorry I'm putting in a spot, but uh, this is a million dollar question which everybody wants to ask. No, Amit, you are right. The transaction size for this particular investment is very small compared to our usual transactions and other investments in the infrastructure space. Uh, but what is unique is that though the transaction size is small, I would say that the development impact of this transaction is potentially higher than some of our other bigger transactions. So as a 
a metric of development impact per dollar spent, I think it's significantly higher in a small investment like Simpa Networks. When we were looking at this off-grid energy space, you know, we, we thought that instead of designing a new project by ourselves, it would be much better if we supported one of those many sustainable private sector initiatives which are already being rolled out on the ground. And that is why we went ahead with this investment in spite of the small size, because in this space, we believe uh, it is important to support such smaller investments in the beginning and hope that the private sector initiatives then kick off and we can leverage their expertise in addressing this problem. We completed this transaction in a total, like starting from initial contact through due diligence to uh, investment in about six months. Now, while that is uh, still very quick by ADB standards, and I must say I'm very thankful to Jeevan uh, for his help from the Energy for All initiative, uh, without his help, uh, we would not have been able to complete this transaction in such short time. Uh, still, from the view of a private sector developer, it's still a long time. So we hope that from the lessons we learned on this transaction, we will be able to shorten this uh, processing time even further for future transactions. Simpa uses a very unique technology. You know, it is a prepayment system where where if you want energy service, you have a recharge coupon and then you get the service. You know, it's it's very similar to the mobile systems. Now, interestingly, uh, Simpa Networks, instead of building the ho whole new network and the rural household of India, which, which is going to be near impossible, they are using the existing mobile network, which is a very smart thing to do. But my, my question to you, Mr. Patil, is that do, do you think that this can go beyond energy domain in, in sectors like agriculture, health, where, where this could be very interesting to see? Uh, definitely, Amit. Uh, this pay-as-you-go system can definitely be used for applications in agribusiness, in healthcare, and education. Uh, this, what is unique about this pay-as-you-go system is that the pay-as-you-go aspect makes the products and services more affordable for the rural consumers. At the same time, the prepaid nature of this system makes these business models more investable for private sector investors. From the private sector perspective, you know money is flowing in terms of FDI and FIs from US and Europe in, in South Asia for this installation. US Exim Bank is supporting many, many players in India. So so funding is not an issue for grid connected solar being supported by maybe so called bankable PPAs and FITs. Why not rural rural energy access? Why don't you guys put money in rural energy access? I see Ahmed, uh, there are two issues here. One, uh, I Though there has been a lot of money flowing into grid-connected uh, solar energy systems and new projects are being set up in India and other countries, uh, what is the state has not kept up with these investments and has not delivered on the transmission networks. And because of that, as Jeevan explained, these uh, the, the energy from these new investments is not translated is not being delivered to rural consumers. Secondly. You know, even though the solar prices have crashed, solar still is a very expensive form of energy compared to other fossil fuels today. So even though today in India we are talking of solar prices in the range of 5 to 6 rupees per kilowatt hour, they are still significantly more expensive than coal or hydro which is about 1 to 2 rupees uh, per kilowatt hour. So the problem with solar is the high upfront costs. While on a life cycle basis, the costs are significantly lower than fossil fuels, the entire solar cost, life cycle costs are upfront. And because of that, solar solutions for off-grid have not taken off because of this affordability issues. And that is why when we look at off-grid solutions and other decentralized energy solutions such as, Simp uh, such as Simpa, we have to look at the affordability angle. And that is where a metering system like Simpa, which addresses this problem through a pay-as-you-go system, helps in making uh, such invest, uh, investments more profitable. If I, would, if I can add here, you know, if you look at the solar, the cost of solar PV is going down. I mean, that will be helpful for the grid connected systems. But if you look at the solar off-grid system, solar home systems and so on, the solar panels cost going down, but the cost of batteries and other accessories are going up. So the total cost for the households it's, it's going down, but hasn't been so significant. It, this is where we need to look at not only the solar PB, but also look at other accessories, batteries, and so on and so forth, so that the total package becomes cheaper. 
uh, for the households. And if I may add, you know, building on that point, you know, you have to look at what the off-grid consumers are spending today. And they are spending on kerosene. And kerosene <coughs> today is highly subsidized in India. Mm-hmm. So when we look at other solutions, such as solar, we have to see the affordability in relation to their existing yes. expenditure. Okay. And that is one of the main reasons why solar has not taken off today. Okay, excellent. Solar has not taken up to the extent it should be. <laughs> it's improving, but it's still. <laughs> okay, now, now the deal is over. You you pass on the money, now everybody is happy, but are you doing some other deals or this, this was one of the case? What learnings you had from this process which you could share with other product officers within ADB or other investors outside that learnings which, which could be taken from this? Uh, at the private sector operations department, we are continuously searching for other such inclusive business models uh, which we can invest in in the future, particularly in areas related to energy access, uh, education and agribusiness. We are currently looking at a couple of such similar investments and we hope to conclude them in the coming year. Uh, as far as the lessons learned from this transaction, uh, it was a very unique experience and what I would advise other uh, project leaders who are looking at such a similar investments is to be uh, very, very particular about uh, the sustainability aspects of the solution that they are proposing. Because while an idea might appear uh, very attractive today, we have to look at whether this idea will be sustainable in the long run and that should form the basis of the investment. Okay. Assuming that Simpa does electrify 60,000 households by 2015 and it's proven commercially viable and successful, you know, and I believe you get your ROI back, uh, would you recommend Simpa for other developing member countries in, in Asia? And what are the salient features of Simpa or transition like this would you recommend for other, other DMCs? Uh, Amit, while the problem of electricity access is most acute in India, other developing countries also face similar issues. Uh, Simpa's initial focus will remain on India. However, once their operations are established in India, uh, they do intend to diversify to other geographies in other developing countries in Asia. The, the Simpa pay-as-you-go system is very replicable across other geographies where you have the similar problem with electricity access among a large rural population which is not connected to the grid. Uh, and in fact, the value add that ADB brings to this company is the access to other countries in Asia where Simpa can in the future uh, diversify its operations. <laughs>